And just, that, the, and, and just like that, I should say, the final episode of the recording session has begun. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Real Destinies. I'm your host, Megan Shadowfist. It's like a video game, it's like a commentary. And when we last left off, we were cross examining Mr. Rhymes. Let's continue. At about 10 10 a.m., I was in the staff room. Hold it, please. Are you sure about the time you were in the staff room? What? Yes, I'm sure. I'm pretty good with time. I've never been late to work once. Somehow, I highly doubt that. Hmm, if he's sure about the time, then there's something wrong with that statement. I better take another look through the court record. Hint, hint. Alright, please continue with your testimony, Mr. Rhymes. I heard a loud noise in the pool room, so I went to the door to look in. You heard the noise all the way in the staff room. That's right, the orca pool, the orca pool room and the staff room are pretty close to each other. Anyways, anyway, I heard the noise, so I went to the door to the pool room, or the pool room. But I don't have a security card, so all I could do was look through the door, door crack. What kind of noise did you hear? Want me to describe it? Ah, uh, yes, yo, what a recorder, the crash, boom, bowing down to relativity. Everything falling with a sweet simplicity. This testimony, yo, it ain't got no flat fallacies. Things falling and breaking was pure insanity. <laughs> kind of like that. Okay, but why did they need? Why did they need to wrap it? Yo, 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 dude. Ladies and gentlemen, does Phoenix just not understand the mighty flip flop? He, he, he just doesn't get it, does he? <laughs> well, I didn't really get all of that, but in any case, I gather it was a very loud noise. I wish I could go to the Japanese for. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check to see if maybe it was just like down temporarily. I'm gonna go back and it's gonna be up. It has to be. I want to see what that joke was in the Japanese version. Freaking flip flop, cause it's not called hip hop in Japanese. Oh, actually, actually, yes, it is. It is called hip hop in Japanese. Hip hop. <laughs> He poop it. <laughs> what it is in Japanese, but still, um, still flip flop. <laughs> well, I didn't really get all of that, but in any case, I gather it was a very loud noise. Very well, please describe what you saw at the scene. I couldn't see the captain or the orca, but I saw a bunch of coins scattered around. You couldn't see the victim. I was just looking through the door crack. I guess all the stuff was blocking my view. I did notice a whole bunch of coins got all over the place all over the place though. But at the time I heard no idea the captain was I had no idea the captain was dead. Hmm. <laughs> Killed by gold coins. Ironic, isn't it? Perhaps the orca wanted to be paid for her labor. Paid in coins raining from the skies. Coins raining from the skies? He makes it sound almost poetic. But the hard truth is that those coins were actually the murder weapon. <laughs> We all just said to be paid for our work, do we not? I shall have a final I shall have a fine meal tonight. Hashtag performance matters. If you find our client guilty, that is. Mr. Rhymes, do you have a theory on how the things got knocked down? Of course I do. Did I say Mr. and Miss, I don't know, I always get those two confused for whatever reason. It's because like, you know, in Japanese they're like the same. Right? Like there's like there's no gender. No, yeah, like, like, well, I mean, there there are, like, some gendered, um, honorifics, but, like, in this case, you wouldn't be using any gender, or, like, you wouldn't really be using any gendered ones. And even then, they're not, like, 100% gender, it's just that they're typically associated with certain things. Like, there are a couple ones, and those are usually used with, like, kids, really. <laughs> Whatever, anyway. The orca knows there's a certain spot people stand to play volleyball with her. She uses this ball and does a spike, right? We had a nice little demonstration of where the spike for ourselves just yesterday. If you stand on the mark on the floor, the orca spikes a ball at you. Hmm. Thaka is good at flying straight at his target as well. And I see plenty of targets right here in this room. <laughs> Can't keep up with that after image. Everybody's so busy predicting their head they forgot about the trial! She says under the desk. Including you. Tell them what the defendant calls to, what tolls to happen. Well, the orca knows people stand in a certain spot for volleyball. 
I think maybe she knocked down the stuff that was piled up there and hit the captain. Are you saying you think she knocked down the items on purpose? I don't want to believe it myself, but the orc is pretty smart. It'd be easy for her to pull the cloth the stuff the stuff was stuff was on while she was playing volleyball. Orcas are really strong. One could pull one good pull and all those things would come crashing down. I guess maybe an orca could be strong enough to make that much stuff fall. I've never seen an orca play tug of war myself. But the fact is, this one did. The traces of the orca's alive have found the cloth prove it. How long do you plan to walk tightrope on those shaky theories of yours? Wait until you see me do acrobatics. Like acro, most of these are what I became a lawyer again for. I don't know why, but Miss Rhymes is lying. Mr. Rhymes, I'm afraid I have to expose the secret. Expose the secret, and he and Pearls are we're keeping to resolve this. I said that with an English accent. By the way, it sounds like I'm cute. I bet you don't even know the difference between. You probably can't. Probably don't know the difference between the word objection in English and and um. American accent. To me, the reason why it sounds English is because of the the reason why um, Simon Blackwell's objection was uh, uh, Joe Milton, by the way. The reason why um, Simon Blackwell's objection sounds English to me is because of the vowel sounds. Typically speaking, one thing you'll notice between um, a North, like people from North America, with the exception like like so like um, the U.S. and Canada, ca Canadians aren't don't exactly do this with the word sorry though, but um, is that. North, like, an accents from North America tend to exaggerate sounds a bit more than, um, English, like, an English accent. English accents, like, for example, R's, for example, are a lot more exaggerated in, in, like, North American accents, whereas in, like, English accents, they tend to be a lot more softer. Another thing would be the vowels. To me, um, his, it's, to me, Simon Blackwell's intonation, along with, um, the way that he shortens his vowels, sounds English to me, right? I don't know if I can properly demonstrate it, right? Like, objection, objection, right? That hard eat, eh, objection, objection, objection. Like, there's a, I don't know if I, I don't even know if I can quite, quite properly, um, demonstrate it. But yeah, that's why it sounds English to me. It's one of those things. I'm afraid I have to expose that secret. He and Pearls are keeping to resolve this. At about 10, 10 a.m., I was in the staff room. Pearl's calendar around 10, 10 a.m. Meet the captain at the orca pool at 7 a.m. We said we were supposed to present evidence of this, because, uh, if you recall. Are you sure that time you're in the staff room? Yes, I'm sure. I'm pretty good with the time. I've never been late to work once. Something wrong with that statement. I guess he wasn't in the staff room then. Right? Or was he or hold on. I'm trying to I'm trying to think here. Cause like Apparently it was, it was apparently switched with Pearls count what where was Pearls? It doesn't say where Pearls was. But she was in um No, the staff room is upstairs, right? Yeah, the staff room is upstairs. This is why I chased Jake the King. Okay. So you're full of crap. Objection! You say you were in the staff room, but is that really true? Of course it's true. Why would I lie about a thing like that? Mr. Rhymes, have you ever seen this calendar before? Hey, that's... I see you recognize it. Yeah, that's the rifle calendar. It's a big hit at the Shipshape Aquarium gift shop. Thank you for shopping at Shipshape. Oh god, he has Mr. Filch's theme song. Someone said that the voice that I gave Ryan, oh, both two people did. Kratos and Phoenix Edgeworth said that they thought that the voice that I gave um, him sounds like a combination, it reminds them of a combination of the Bobby Fulbright voice and the, and the Mr. Filch voice. And they said, the thing is, they said that completely independent of each other, they didn't realize that each other said it. Well, actually, Phoenix Edgeworth said it like a couple of days before Kratos did, but still, whatever. Thank you for shopping at Shipshape! Mr. Rhymes, please refrain from scattering fish around the witness stand. Not to worry, your boldness. Fucker will we'll have them cleaned up in no time. <coughs> no, actually, it's. <coughs> no, how do, how, do, how do I do this? Um, Squawk! I think that's how I do it. I guess that bird comes in handy now and then. 
Alright, Mr. Wright, we have all seen your cute souvenir. Now, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, no, Your Honor. This isn't my calendar. It was originally the witnesses, but it came into the possession of a certain young lady. Wh what Mr. Reds and this young lady first met each other in the food prep room. After a mishap, their calendars got switched around. They ran into each other at about 10 a.m. in the food prep room. So clearly, the witness was not in the staff room. In other words, there's no way he could have heard the noise in the pool room upstairs. What's this? This is the first time I'm hearing about any calendar. That's because Mr. Rides and Prowls were keeping it a secret. You lied to me! This transgression will not go unpunished! Arrgh! So, Mr. Rides, you didn't hear the noise of the equipment falling after all, did you? Okay, I admit it. I didn't hear the noise in the orca room myself. But somebody told me about it. Who told you about it? Yo, 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 it was, uh... Yo, 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 hip-hop, Sonny. Unless you tell the truth, Mr. Rhymes, I can't save Orla. And I'm sure you know how sad that would be, how sad that would make Miss Buckler. I heard about it from Sasha. What? From Miss Buckler? But that doesn't make any sense! What is going on here? <laughs> Now it's the traitors and words that drive the orc into a corner. How do you like being bitten by your own client, right, Bono? Ugh, I certainly didn't see this coming. But perfect timing, there's something I wanted to ask Miss Buckley about the orca. The prosecution calls the traitor, Miss Sasha Buckley, to the stand. Yes, I suppose it would be a good idea to hear the orca's trainer has to say. What? I don't know what Sasha is going to say, but I'll just have to meet it head on. Whatever it is. We will take a 20 minute recess while the witness is summoned. I love how everything is just super close to the courtroom. To be continued. Save the game. Oh, you bet your butt I will save the game. Over slot 2. Yes, please. Oh, by the way. This was actually announced by Capcom a long time ago, but I'm going to feel the need to talk about it. Um, for those of you who do not have a 3DS, but you, um, have an iPhone, soon enough you'll be able to play the, f you'll be able to play, uh, as I can't say all five Ace Attorney games anymore, a all five main series Ace Attorney games anymore, because they're Spirit of Justice, but you'll be able to play the first five Ace Attorney games, um, because the first three, the first three are released in the, as the HD collection, which is available on the App Store, um, this one, uh, Dual Destiny, is obviously on the App Store. I'm playing this right now, and even though it says that it's not supported, it's not supported, but with uh, it, um, it's not supported by anything past iOS 8. I'm playing, I'm using iOS 10 right now, and it works perfectly fine. But they're finally, finally releasing Apollo Justice on the App Store, which I think is interesting because that game is a game that just like never get, it, like it gets ignored. I mean, I under, I can understand why because it, in my in my opinion. I believe that it is the weakest of the series. Like, the game just... It was just mediocre. Like, it was just meh. Like, it really wasn't that good of a game. Like, I believe that it... I believe that it's... I believe that if you're an Ace Attorney fan that you should play Apollo Justice, simply because it, you get a chance to know a little bit more about Apollo, you get to know a little bit more about Trucy, their backstory and everything. You get to know a little bit more about Clavier. And it's not a bad game, per se. It's just not very good. <laughs> and so, like, up until this point, you wouldn't, you could not, up until the, there was recently, well, it hasn't been released in the iOS store yet, but up until this point, you could not play the game outside of its original DS copy, like a physical copy. But now you can. Like, they didn't even release on the 3DS eShop. They released the first three games and Dual Destinies and, I assume, of um, Sphere of Justice, but not Polo Justice. That game just gets ignored. All right. July 21st, 10.39 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number 3. What accent was I doing right now? Doing it right there. July 21st, 10.39 a.m. District Court. It's some sort of Western European accent, but I'm not exactly sure what. Hmm. 
Like Swedish people don't sound like that, no. Like so, like stereo, I, no, like stereotypical, like I like a stereotypical Nordic accent. If you don't know the Nordic accent, those are um, the accents of the, the people in like Norway and Sweden and Finland. No, it's just no. Finnish isn't Finnish is is not a North is not a North Germanic language, is it? No, I don't think it is. North Germanic, that's like Norwegian, Swedish. West Germanic would be stuff like English and German. And there is no East Germanic, right? No, there's East, but no South Germanic, right? It's weird. Anyway, let's go on and continue. I'm wasting a lot of time. July 20, 21st, 1039 a.m. Just to court defendant lobby number three. Happy Leaf Erickson's Day! <laughs> good day, good day, Under. Mr. Wright! Well, I didn't say that's so accusatory. Mr. Wright, are you going to cross examine Sasha? I guess I have to ask her about the noise from the stuff falling down. Yo, 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 Mr. Wright! Mr. Rhymes, why do you why did you lie? Yo, 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 I I didn't want Sasha to hear appear in court. I thought if anybody had to testify, it should be the one to do it I should be the one to do it for her. But why would you go all, to all those lengths? Did you see the entry of the, on the 12th, 20th on the calendar? On that calendar, I guess I'll be a random Japanese word for the recording session. Because, okay, so a lot of people, this is actually very confusing for a lot of beginning Japanese people, uh, beginning Japanese learners. But, um, calendaring in Japanese, like, ja Japanese calendars is a bit weird. So the first 10 days have their own special, um, names. Suitachi, futsuka, mikka, etto, yokka, itsuka, muika. Nanoka, yoka, toka, kokonoka, toka. Yeah, that's the tenth. And then, then for all the other ones, it's just like normal. It's just like normal. So, yetto, juichi nichi, juni nichi, jusan nichi. But then, like fourth is like juyoka and stuff. The fourteenth, juyoka. But um, the twentieth actually has a special number too. Hatsuka, hatsuka is what it is. Which, if you know anything about Japanese, you know that you know that um, the age twenty is a very important age in Japanese. Like normally. For like um, ages in Japanese, you say the number, then you add sai at the end of it. So isai, nisai. If you were 23, you'd be niji san, niji san sai. But if you're 20, it's not niji sai. It's hatachi, hatachi. So like, it's just one of those things. Hatsuka is the 20th of the calendar. It's the 20th day of the watching call it. It's just one of those things. That's one of those things that a lot of people have a lot of trouble with in Japanese. Is um, count um. This is also true for Chinese as well. But I think. J I think Chinese has it a little bit easier, I think. I think, but uh, Japanese has, um... Yeah, Japanese, Japanese is a little bit more confusing, because, like, it's just weird. Just, count, just counting them. Like, uh, counters. It's not really something that exists in English. I mean, you have things, like, there are certain things, like, you have, like, a bundle of sticks and whatnot, but that's not exactly the same. Or a slice of cake. A piece of pizza, slice of pizza. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of similar, but not exactly the same. I, there's a word for that. I forgot what it is. I'm wasting time. You just see the entry on the twentieth on that calendar. The note about meeting the captain at the orca pool. Yeah, I found that calendar in the nap room. I think it's probably Sasha's. What? Then that means. I guess it does look like more of a woman's calendar than a man's. What are you trying to say, Phoenix? You shouldn't judge things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, buddy. Calendar update in the court record apparently belongs to Sasha. A meeting of the victim was scheduled for 7 a.m. on the 20th. I didn't want a suspicion. I didn't want suspicion to fall on Sasha, Mr. Wright. I got to go back to the aquarium and look after the orca in Sasha's um, place. And I guess another random Japanese word, suizokkan. Suizokkan. It's um sui Uh, it means uh. Aquarium in Japanese. Throw the kanji for water, the kanji for like family or tribe, and the kanji for like building facility type thing. Anyway, Suizo Kung. I'll be rooting for you on the other end of that TV phone. Please take care of Sasha. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, we can't let Prosecutor Blackwell get to the best of us. Time to refocus. You're right. After all, we're the only ones who can save Orla. Alrighty then. July 21st, 11.02 a.m., District Court, courtroom number 
The court will now reconvene. No, it will not, Judge. Prosecutor Blackwell, please call the witness to the stand. Again, you waste your breath. Me name be Sasha, and I be one of the Captain of the Swashbucklers. I couldn't rescue me buckle for the false charges put on her by Dread Pirate Nustache. Nustache, as in mustache. No stash, actually. No stash, as in no stash. It took me a. For some reason, I didn't get that initially. No stash, as in she has no stash. No stash. I guess no stash refers to Prosecutor Blackwell this time. Aww. That's alright. I can't really grow a mustache either. Well, it can't be the judge. He has a mustache and a full beard. Now then, Captain Judge. Now then, Captain Judge, shall we begin the prior court? Cap and Judge! Hmm, I rather like that. Of course you do. It makes me feel like a salty old sea dog. Well, you're certainly old. Uh, and now Phoenix Andrew's gonna take a ch he's gonna take a moment to jab at me. Yes, I get it, I'm an old man too. You know, I'm an old man and I'm proud of it, whippersnapper. And Satan, how was that for a self-intro? The court is not a show. State your full name and occupation. I'm Sasha Buckler. I work at Ship Ship Aquarium. I perform at our Swashbuckle Spectacular Pirate Show alongside Orl as her trainer. Well, you seem like a completely different person now. You really think so? Thanks, I was at my Pirate Show personal persona just then. Yeah, I checked the Japanese version. There's no really thing. Really thing. That's not a thing. That's not a thing in the Japanese version. Most personally, possibly because the word for ill in Japanese is unagi, unagi. So, like, it's not like, uh, there's no pun. Like, really, it'd be like, honto? Like, honto desu ka? Like, something like that. So, like, you can't really make a, you can't really make a pun off of that. <laughs> but I was gonna black was that I could introduce, my, introduce myself any way I like. I bet money he didn't think you were going to do it like that. And what will this witness testify about? The walker manipulated the victim into playing volleyball and then knocked the items down. The witness will report about hearing the noise that caused the victim's death. Now wait just a minute! Sure, I used the water break props sometimes! She even spiked the ball with the giant octopus leg yesterday when I was cleaning! So that's how I lost his leg. But was that already explained? So Orla was the one who broke that leg, huh? Okay, never mind. That answers that question. But she couldn't have knocked down the huge deck of equipment with her little ball! By the way, I feel like this is supposed to, like, um, Buckler's pose right here, I feel like this is supposed to be, like, a reference to, like, somebody, but who? Who makes, who's famous for making this pose? Because I don't know. Like, she's very punk rock, and I'm thinking of that, uh, I'm thinking of that, uh, Russian punk rock band, which, uh, you're gonna have to forgive me, because, uh, this is what it's called, its name is quote-unquote Pussy Riot. That's what it's called. Very punk rock. And it's not like Green Day punk rock, right? Like, it's not like, you know, I cannot sleep. I've lost my voice. Sleep something and redundant because I love you's not enough. I'm at a loss for words. No, it's not like that at all. This is more like, uh, what do you call it? Like, what's a good, what's, what's a good punk rock band that, like, is like, that's like actual punk, right? I don't know. I guess like Rise Against is pretty punk, but they're not they're not like old school punk. Like they like you know they they they, they talk about a lot of things. But still, we don't sleep very much. These triggers ache for the touch. Where's the strength we relied on? <laughs> I thought you were paying attention to the trail over the telecast, but you apparently know nothing of what we have been discussing. The Orca knocked down the equipment by pulling the cloth, and that was underneath cloth that was underneath it. No one said anything about the Orca knocking it down with the ball. What? Oh, she has one of those. I've always wanted one of those. I could just stab somebody with it. <gasps> what? Look, look, man. You get stabbed when you mess with me, right? Look. Like, I'm one-tenth Yakuza. Like, you know, like, so... What is one-tenth Yakuza? Does it... I'm talking too much. Let's just, let's just focus on the story, why don't we? Jeez. What? Is, is that what we're talking about? <clears throat> I came in here to give Prosecutor Nostash a good kill hauling. 
But I'm the one getting the cat of nine tails! Oh, he's as vicious as a tiger shark! Miss Buckler, just fuck up their testimony and you'll be alright! Don't worry, we'll take care of that tiger shark for you! Thank you, Athena! A new animation. Okay, I can do this! My testimony will be fine! Ominal? Oh, Finn! Phenomenal! Shut up! Alright, Miss Buckler, please proceed with your testimony! Witness testimony. I just noticed she is very scantily clad, like she has no clothes. At all. Hearing the noise. I admit I heard a Orla summoning me with a loud noise. But the aquarium gets screams I heard over the walkie-talkie was more urgent. I talked to Norma to Plume first and then went to the pool room with the security guard. The equipment was everywhere, and the equipment cat was lying in the middle of it all. Hmm. Her story, not to be confused with the video game, doesn't seem to be much different from Marlon Rhymes' testimony. Or does it? The circumstances are different. Shut up, Kratos. The actual order of Orla's actions depend on the order the vi witness heard the true noises. If she heard the scream first, and the prosecu prosecutor's claims don't. St if she heard the scream first, the prosecutor's claim. Christian's claim don't stand up. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, she doesn't remember the order of what she heard. She doesn't? I was distracted at the time, so I don't really recall what, which one I heard first. I was lost in thought until the guard brought me back to myself. Sorry I'm no help. As long as the order remains unclear, I shall no not alter the prosecution's claims. I had to kill the victim with a bag of coins, the orca toy the with the body in the, in the water. I have to turn things around here somehow. Unless I can prove the sound Sasha heard was not the sound of the victim's murder. Black was claimed that the Orla pulled down the equipment to kill the victim will stand. If I want to save Orla, I have to find a contradiction, no matter how small. Very well, your cross-examination please, Mr. Wright. Cross-examination. Hearing the noise. I admit I heard Orla summoning me with a loud noise. <laughs> I think we're gonna press one of these. What was I doing? I admit I heard all this summoning with the loud noise. She said loss and thought, so it just made me think of loss and thought all alone. Anyway. Press. What? What made you think of all of us summoning you? Well, I know the sound of her cries doesn't carry far enough. So sometimes she summons people by making a loud noise! <laughs> that woman is smarter than the average well, I tell you! But she's smarter than the smarter than the average bear bear. <laughs> Taco would not be best in a bed of wits. Wait a minute! Which is the smartest one of all? Which is not an animal though. Bear bear on the wall! Who's the smartest of a one of all? Watch it! By the way, actually, I learned this relatively recently. I was I was in the library, some I was studying a little bit with some friends for class, and uh, actually they they were going over common misconceptions. And you know how like a like I'm sure this is common knowledge at this point that a lot of, a lot of people probably know that um, Darth Vader didn't say didn't say Luke, I am your father. He said no, I am your father. But another thing, another commonly misquoted thing is this. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the smartest? Or who's the fairest of them all? It's not mirror, mirror on the wall. It's actually magic mirror on the wall. Fun fact: I legitimately have not seen. Um, I have legitimately not seen a Snow White in like twelve or thirteen years. So like, I don't rem I don't really remember very much about it. I remember renting it on VHS on a. Uh, from a library, because the library allowed us to, like, rent. Like, we could, we could we could borrow, like, we weren't really renting, we were just borrowing. We could borrow movies, VHS tapes, DVDs, Blu-ray wasn't- OH NO! Ah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, okay. Ah. My capture card fell down. Luckily, it seems like it's still going, but like, like the, like it got kind of loose, so that's why there were like, like, um, capturing glitches there. Dang it! 
This is what I get for, like, resting it on such a smooth surface like the screen of my tablet. Tablet strikes again. Am I supposed to introduce introducing to this my kid is better than yours, Zipalooza? And did you heed- hey, and did you heed the summons on this very intelligent Orly immediately? I could have right away, although I was concerned about her, of course. What was I talking about, though, before I was really interrupted? All I can- all I can do is just be thankful that, like, that didn't just screw everything up, right? Like, I'm just thankful that that didn't, that didn't just screw- Well, then again, I have actually had- That wouldn't have really done anything. All their stuff that was recorded would have been fine. Like, I've had- I've had situations like that one- I think it was the second to last- Was it the second to last recording session? Maybe the third to last recording session. I was in the final dungeon of Eternal Sonata, where my 360- I had a power outage, and my 360 just randomly shut off. Um, luckily, I was using my laptop, which has a belt bat has a battery in it. So even though the pa even though the um, power went off, like you know, it didn't shut out the it didn't shut off. But I don't know. Anyway, it was one of those things. Oh, you can I'm sure you can install like a backup battery instead of a computer, can't you? Anyway, let's go ahead and save and return to the main title. I don't know if you could tell, but I was purposely going very slow because like I just I was just stalling for time because we're close to the end of the episode. Return to the title. Yes, please. But yeah, what was I talking about? I can't exactly remember what I was talking about. I was talking about something. Um. Hmm. I can't remember. No, really, what was I talking about before that? I was talking. Was I talking about. Was it something Japanese related? Or was it. Oh, yeah, like the. Yeah, rending. Okay. Well, I, I was already pretty much finished with that topic anyway, so I, like even I would have stopped it regardless if my capture card decided to fall down. Although it's not my capture card's fault, it's my fault for putting my capture card on top of a smooth surface like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and end things off here. So Um Yeah, I guess we'll continue the cross examination in the next recording session. And without further ado, I guess we can end things off here. So <sighs> I'm gonna start trying to say this more clearly and enunciate this properly because um so I've been told that I've, it's very it's very hard to understand what I'm saying. And honestly, honestly, I don't even understand what I'm saying sometimes when I do this outro. If you like this video, if you like this video, the series of videos, please feel free to leave a like. If that is cool, please feel free to subscribe and join Team Strawberry today. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash MegashadoFist. I'll be sure to leave it in the description. I cannot enunciate in English for whatever reason. Um, without further ado, what? No, what follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash MegashadoFist. And this is Mega Shadow sending out. Bye.